All right, hello everyone. Here we are again. Welcome. We're talking about Varuna. I know this is the Kome and Caliban and Nova update. However, Varuna has a new augment that we have to talk about right now because it's not going to last long. The build I'm about to show, let's clarify, is almost 100% certain to be nerfed. It, it, if it is not nerfed, I will be just shocked and surprised. Um, so yeah, let's talk about it at least, but warning, maybe don't build this, especially if you don't just have the excess stuff to use it before it's gone. Um, this is a new Varuna build around her brand new augment, which is confusing to read. Uh, this build is around Prey of Dinar. Prey of Dinar is Shroud of Dinar augment. Increase an enemy's damage vulnerability by 50%. Using Fang of Rocks on that enemy increases its spread radius by 150%. So, what actually happens when you use this is you press 1, and then an enemy is marked with your energy color randomly in a 25 meter radius around you, continually for the duration of your 1. It keeps marking new enemies even if the enemies die, and when you use your two on them, they have a damage vulnerability so that that enemy takes more damage and you get a stronger two. And then the radius of your two is greatly enlarged whenever that enemy dies and spreads your two. That's what actually happens when this is used. And for those of you that are familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh, this is a Mathmech circular. This is literally every single word and possible effect that Varuna would have wanted. It is... Scaling with range in that it is 25 meter hard range on the marked enemy, but the spread radius is scaled with range, so it's at 419% with this build, and the damage vulnerability scales with strength. So, as you add more strength, the enemy is easier to kill and you get a better Fangs of Rocks on them that then spreads at an incredibly large radius, because, I don't know if you know this, but 400% of 20 meters is roughly a 100 meter radius, that you are spreading your two around in, which is very, very strong. And we have replaced our four with Roar for a, another considerable damage increase at about 70% before Molt Augmented kicks in. What the rest of this build is doing is just making sure that works as flawlessly as possible. Roar is giving us insanely more damage. Our energy economy is our three with Equilibrium and Flow with a special surprise that we're going to talk about in a moment. And then everything else is just enough strength to get it going with Precision Intensify for Roar and Blind Rage for even more strength that is going to work on everything, well, mostly R2, uh, that we are working on. And then we've got Steel Charge for melee damage, which doesn't really matter. This could be a few different things, actually, like Brief Respite and yada yada. And it's just every single range mod besides that. Augur, Cunning, Overextended, Stretch, all the boys. Over in the Augment side, obviously, Molt Augmented, I mentioned for higher strength. Arcane Steadfast is here because we can save a lot of energy whenever we're on 45% efficiency just by using Arcane Steadfast. And it is overall hilariously, hilariously strong. It's not going to be clear just how strong this is until we're using it in mission. So I encourage you to please watch the, like, Steel Path run with this to understand just how fucked up it is. Um, but this is also a home for the Titron, for those of you that are now not using Wukong for some reason, even though his nerf really wasn't bad at all. Um, this is another home for the Titron, which has a slightly different build. It is now using Galvanized Reflex instead of Corrupt Charge, and is otherwise identical. Uh, but this is the build for the Titron. We're doing the exact same thing we were doing on Wukong with the Titron here, which is, of course, to jump and slam, and then we can use our one to jump out of that slam to cancel out of it. Where have you seen that before? Uh, so, basically, if our 3 is on, and we're in our 1, and we need energy, or even if we're not in our 1 and we need energy, we can just turn any enemies into all of the energy that we need. Because there's just all these health orbs that come out of all of them because of our 3. Our 2 makes it so that our 3 lasts effectively infinite time as long as we're killing enemies with it, which is the other half of this build. So our 3 is normally going to have about a minute timer on it. And anytime we run low on energy, we can just smack enemies with the Titron and uh, take their lunch money. Which is really, really good. Otherwise, we're going to be, you know, status effect resistant by holding her too. That's usually the one that we're going to be on in terms of her different passives. But you can also go fast with parkour velocity or get the heavy attack efficiency. 
Uh, probably not. She's probably just going to stick to the status effect resistance or going fast, so her 1 and her 2 are fine for that. You do skip out on her 4's extra life thing, but everyone's going to be dead, so we don't personally need an extra life. As for how this actually looks, we do this on hit 1. See, this enemy is bright pink. I made my energy color that for a reason so you can see it. And then this is I'm just going to use our 2 on this enemy a bunch. And then when they die, they spread their 2 to everybody. And you can see that that does pretty significant damage. Even without my 4, which is currently Roar, being applied to it, which will make very short work of all of these enemies. As I said, you kind of need to see it in mission. Showing it against 20 enemies is not really indicative of how this actually works, because it's kind of a cascading effect. And for any enemies that just need to be bonked really hard, we just use the Titron. And this kills everything else that doesn't need to be bonked especially hard. But yeah, that's what's going on with Varuna. We're just going to jump into the Steel Path test, because it's going to make everything a lot more clear. Uh, and this may be the final time I get to play this, because there's no way it's staying. Hey, here's a sidebar before we actually do the run. Uh, this is the shards I'm using. They're like nothing. The casting speed is nice, but who cares? I'm not investing more shards in this, because it's definitely going to get nerfed. But if I was going to invest more shards in this, it'd be two duration. Uh, or, yeah, it'd probably just be two duration Taos. I'd make this into one Tau energy max, and then maybe another duration, maybe another strength. That's what it would be if this wasn't definitely going to get nerfed, but I'm not going to waste, like, you know, 120% bile putting that stuff in here right now because I don't think this build is going to survive, like, a couple of days. All right, here we go. Here we go. Where do you get this augment? It's from Syndicates. Also, YouTube chat is here. Let me know if you like it whenever chat's here. Throw Zeneric down just so we can cast our three. Not that it's probably going to matter. So right now we don't have a lot of energy. So we got to fix that. I'm going to hit three. I'm going to turn these enemies into a party pizza. And now I have energy. Use my one. That enemy is pink. I'm going to hit four. I'm going to send everyone to hell. Another enemy's pink. You're pink, die. We're 30 seconds in, I have 45 kills. Oh, they're all over here. I was like, where is everybody? One side's a dead end. Oh, they got rad proc, that's why. Hope those guys all died. They, they gave me enough energy, though. There we go. There's numbers happening. It is an extremely large radius, so sometimes you're going to be like, why am I alone? You're not alone. You killed everyone. Oh, this tile is so fucked up for it. Oh, no. We're going to hit new KPM record, I think. Yeah, we might. We might actually hit a new KPM record for this. Yeah. Oh, the one thing that's inconvenient about this it is, is it is up and down also range. I actually want to be on one side of this, so I don't have to deal with vertical marking, probably. Yeah, probably. Uh, where's my marker? See there. Yeah, there we go. That's good numbers right there. Yeah, so you can probably see why this one's not, um... <laughs> this one's not going to stick around. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious. Life support on the way. We're two minutes in, 450 kills, by the way.
Who's Mark? You. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. So th this is... <laughs> this augment is a custom card for Varuna. It is just the thing, like, that I have said in all of her past, like, builds videos, I'm pretty sure. Which is, what if her two had a lot of range? It's, it's just that what if. This is the what if. And like a lot, like capital A, a lot of range. We're three and a half minutes in, 600 kills. Let me just pick up all this loot. Yeah. Oh, no, you're dead, you're dead. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need an enemy, I need an enemy. So, I mean, <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> this actually might not be because they don't like get to me fast enough to get marked in this like position. And otherwise, it's kind of annoying to kill them. But like, I mean, what do you want? <laughs> hey, no, if this doesn't get nerfed, hey, no one can say that Varuna's bad. Because, uh, you know, I do need to go get all of this stuff. Spam the two a bit. Mm, they're all gonna die. You there, make everyone die. Where's the my acolyte guy? Hey there, bud. Did he die or I don't know? He's dead, right? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. He, okay, he he died really fast. I wasn't 100 percent sure he didn't teleport or something. Yeah, Titron is still doing that. I mean, you know, I mean, <laughs> what do I even say? I think this one's not gonna be around for long. Is like all I can say. Like, hey, put this together if you got some extra stuff going on and you're like fine for it to no longer exist like soon you can run through the like dregs of the remaining living creatures on the map yeah I mean we're at six minutes I'm at a thousand kills so that's pretty cool Say she's bad so they don't nerf it. Yeah, this is definitely horrible, for sure. Absolutely. There's definitely no way they nerf this. Trust. Yeah, no. Oh, don't mark this. Okay, luckily I can just, like, hit E. Actually, really funny they can hit that. Why well, can't hit the turrets? Get rid of that. Whenever it spreads cold, it's actually like hilarious. Oh boy, and that's a lot of dead guys. Sometimes you just turn around and you're like faced with the numbers that you have brought, and it's it's quite a thing to behold. And like I said, I have like a minute of this buff, so like anytime I want, I can just like slam down and just do whatever. Or just walk through like, you know, all the places where everyone died and just grab all of my, my sweet loot. I'll slam this, gain 300 energy.
kill. I mean. You know... Like, it's, you know, <laughs> it's pretty good. Oh, man. Like, sometimes it takes a second to find the enemy that's been marked by your one, especially in these more, like, vertical-oriented places. But it, like, just doesn't matter. Because, like, whenever they die, everyone dies. Just turn those guys into 200 energy. Recast. Go oh, behind me. Yeah. We're at 9 minutes. I'm at 1,500 kills. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what they're going to do about this, but it's probably going to get nuked for more bet. Like I keep, I keep just saying, like, yeah. I just want to be really clear. I, there's no way. I feel like there's no way this survives a week. Yeah, you're also invisible during this, and if an enemy has something to say about it, you can just hit them with the Titron. You're dead. I don't even need to keep hitting you. Electric rock. Oh, here. I need energy. So these guys are now turned into energy. And that's that's ten minutes. That's seventeen hundred kills. Actually, not that great. We did eighteen hundred on a different map. And by not that great, I mean not that great for this build. Obviously, that's stellar. So yeah, uh, enjoy this while it lasts if you get to play it at all. Where is the exit? Give me a green marker. Hear me out. What if they nerf the Titron? Doesn't matter. I There's like a hundred other weapons I could bring that are like good heavy attack weapons that'll do the exact same function here. Like Titron is nice for this because you can do like the Wukong-esque thing of like jumping out of its slam with your ones. You slam and then jump. Um, You can actually... You, you, you can't recast your one while you're in it. So you can't do the jump out and then slam again. But yeah, it's... <laughs> Is pretty good. Won't last long, likely. Won't last long, likely. Yeah. Extremely, extremely good. All right. We're back from Tenocon, and the streamathon is going to continue. Uh, but there will, of course, I will try and have there be videos as well as the streamathon at the same time, if I can. Also, thank you to the $10 patrons, Athian, Alex Parnum, Arbiter Daydream, Benuvin, Brutus Salazar, Canalaftra, Club World 3, Dylan Dworsky, Athrain, Afan, James Harson, JC4 Science, Josh, Lou Xanth, Malik X Williams, Mark Smith, Mikrakel, Minty Ginja, Mitchta, Nerve, Ruby, Sanyu, Skur, Sharp247, Tamriel Lake Wastelander, Tester ZWP, The Coupon of Death, Tomeworm, Victor Palmer, Why Who Wars, Quadata 1, and Sarah Fear. And of course, all of my other patrons as well. It is incredibly appreciated uh, for all of your support. Uh, but yeah, we're going to try and we're going to try and keep the videos a little bit more regular while the streamathon continues. Uh, and of course, we do have a uh, free to play through coming soon.